Yes, sir, baby. On the radar radio. Yo, special guests in the building. The Box Boys in the building. Yes, Box Fest oh, this brother. weekend. How y'all feeling, man? Feeling good, yeah, man. Four big days, week. Big four week. days away. Big week. Box Fest. There, there's multiple Box Fest, though. There's yes. New York. There's L.A. That is, or have y'all done other one, other other? Cities? We've done uh, like other events in like Chicago and Atlanta. Like smaller events, like smaller not as big events, as like just LA, Fest, New York just, for Box yeah, Fest. LA, New York, yeah. yeah. Man, I'm excited to have you. How y'all feel? We got the box. We, what yeah, is, little, what's the mascot this, called? This twin right here. This uh, box. box. Mr. Box. Mr. Box. Mr. Box. Mr. Box. Yeah, it's our it's, guy. So we got a uh, we got a big show uh, this weekend. Yes, you know, it's sir. funny. Like the last year when y'all did Box Fest, I didn't get to attend last year. But it's funny because like. How things work out because my first connection with uh, our generation music was through uh, I hope I say his name Emo Emwell 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 yeah I never know how to say shout out Emwell um, um, but he actually like interviewed us here at OTR on like a random Saturday because I think Box Fest was either the night before or the day after whatever it was but um, that's how I actually got in I through technically through you guys because y'all were out here he was out here and that's how I ended up mm, making all those right. connections small world bro small yeah. small he's world. a real one music real industry is small world how y'all feeling you just chugged the monster so I know you're yeah I'm a little shaky but now we're feeling Go, bro. We just um we landed today. We we popped out of SoundCloud. You know they were you know just chopping up with them, showing some love, and then uh just we have the walkthrough with the venue tomorrow. Okay, fine. So it's like you now getting everything ready, the merch, just just seeing like how artists are gonna enter the venue, and just having like a good good solid plan for a Saturday. I was about to say like I feel like people don't talk enough about like the uh the struggles or the or the behind tests the that y'all yeah. go mm -hmm. through behind Bro. the scenes when making these festivals it's, like happen. It's gotten like, people... easier since our our first few festivals. At first it was always like all over the place mm -hmm. like, cuz we no yeah. We, setting up the schedule and everything was always like out of the blue, but now that we have a team behind now, our Now this back, being it's... our 6-1 it's like we for sure like know what to expect. But there's always that one situation that like out of the blue like you like you're not expecting and it's right. like like damn like yeah so for this one it's more so like um because for this one like loki like the venue is a lot smaller than like than the guest list and stuff like that so it's like when you're throwing out a show like nine artists and everyone wants to roll deep it's like damn like how are we gonna work, work around this but it's like stuff we're used to because like from the third one like we had like two like 20 people on stage type shit and it was like really just try to how to like and I'm, I'm like just solidify like more of a professional look from yeah. stage because we're getting like we love that underground approach where everyone and their homies and their artists pop out on stage and support each other but trying to justify that and make it more of a like a like single person per stage and how you go to a rolling loud you don't see like the stage is completely crowded out and stuff like that so we're trying to like transition from like that underground messy feel because the first three fests were great and all and like very homey from an underground approach but now that we're working with like Live Nation and stuff like that we want to have a good approach to all these people coming in the, the experience both for the fans for us running it well and then for the artists themselves right because eventually yeah. you get, like you reach a certain level where it can't yeah, be it can't just, just like be thrown around yeah, like that, you yeah. know yeah. like like you guys want to level up and be like you know the bigger festivals as well too mm -hmm. so like you guys have to like you know and then they start to explain to the artists like hey we trying to help y'all yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We trying to make this feel more no. professional and bigger too. It look, it be political too. Like you know, mm -hmm. like on well, you know, some artists be like, "Now nah, I want to go on top of this artist and this artist," and it's like, "Damn, like we got to work around something like that." Make it make sense egos, for we got to work around egos. That look, he be a little because obviously we're friends with like majority of these artists. So it's like it's never nothing personal, but it's like when you're when you're working with like managers and, and agents, it's always like now nah, like we want to be on top of this artist or we want to perform before this. My name's too like, small on the on yeah, the, on the so flyer. Like, we enjoy have had situations where like um, artists have told us like yo like we're not performing if we you know if we're not the last person or if you know if we if he performs first like we're not yet. so it's like damn like it's like a bunch of obstacles that people won't ever think we got to deal with that we deal with like every single event. Right, and sometimes people don't realize like going last ain't always the best. Too. Uh -huh. Sometimes, sometimes. No, there's been scenarios like, uh, like the, when we were the first doing a couple of shows. Like sometimes the crowd will peak middle of the show. Yeah, and that'll be like yeah. the best. It's moment. been like that, honestly. Yeah. Isn't Some... that weird though, too? Because we've thrown like a show or two, and also just like I think in parties in general, it, like it'd be weird because like you could have like the like a big artist or someone that you perceive as like a big artist like at the very end, yeah. and then like it'll be like the middle of the show, and you're like, oh shit! And by the time that person comes I mean, on, you're yeah, like, we've yeah. experienced that firsthand. For the most part, like we. Box Fest two and three slump. I to this day he's had one of my favorite sets. Mm. Middle of the middle of Box Fest, craziest sets. He was sets. one of the craziest sets, sets, bro. Slump, slump was slump. Like, probably like the third, fourth performer like third, with like four artists after him. He, still one of the craziest sets. He had one sets. of the best sets, like Box Fest two and three. It's like you know, it really is. It doesn't matter like when you go. It's like if you got that that dog in you, that stage presence. Like it doesn't matter when you go. You could be the first one or the last one. Like you just gotta have that dog in you. Right, right, right. On. Where the box fest like the like the name and like the mascot and all this. The like, names. Like, so the or the, like the origin stuff. Like, like the that. origin story of yeah. box fest itself. So box boys originated uh, in high school when I was in my sophomore junior year. That was like three years ago. 
And um, it was originally supposed to start off as a collective on some like odd future type type stuff, mm-hmm. and and you know how high school stuff just like falls through. You know, some people bring up an idea and like they don't fall through with it. But yeah. I was really committed to it. So when all the homies like lost passion for it, I'm like, all right, I'm within gonna do that this. week, right? Yeah, within that week, you know, I'm like, all right, I'll just do it myself. So I just started off filming music videos under the name Box Boys, which you know kind of defeats the purpose because it was just me. But <laughs> months after, it was just grinding my videos. He was already doing videos on his own too, okay, so we were okay. both doing music videos on our own. And then uh, we one day we're just like yo like we're doing this exact same thing like we're brothers we're both it just from music makes sense videos. for us to merge in it just know? makes right. sense to just yeah. bam if we're both gonna struggle into the same path it's like right. it, it'd make sense if he was an artist and I was a director whatever no you're both yeah. doing yeah. the exact same thing if you're doing the same thing might as well yeah. merge one, the box one yeah. thing yeah. So yeah. It's like, yeah. yeah and like who else would do it then like with you know us brothers so it's like all right we'll just write it out mm. and and that was like well that was like three years ago and you know that was like when I was like seventeen mm-hmm. I'm twenty now so I was like yeah it's like we're about to hit four years yeah too. We're going for four years this February and doing festivals that like 20 is like crazy bro it's yeah crazy, no bro. i do w- w- box fest 2 that was like what 2021 2021 yeah that was like yes yeah, i was like 17 18 throwing like the two and three did you see the one with fago yeah i did Fago yeah, and Arnold, was three, yeah, that, yeah. i was 18 so like, how do like you navigate that because like you know i feel like um like a people who do some of the older festival like bigger festivals they're a little bit older like how do you also navigate like making sure that you know one you guys are entering these settings professionally mm-hmm. being so young because i'm sure like even like Live Nation, maybe a Live Nation at first, or some of these venues would be like, "Oh, they're twenty, like yeah. you know what I'm saying." They might oh. be afraid to work with y'all, <laughs> oh, I, even I feel though like like y'all do even a good job. Aside from the festivals, like we were pushing music videos at first, I feel like we were looked down upon, just kind no, of putting sure, our voice bro. out like, there. Being, and stuff. being like the the necessarily like the young talent in mm. in in the in the room in the industry, like you for sure don't get that automatic like respect that you know you you know because we for sure had moments where people like you know like oh like. They ain't, they ain't gonna do anything like it's just it's just them two but mm-hmm. you know we pop up with the show with like 12 of the biggest names ever then it's like now now like we it's, it's sort of like we had to like fight for that basic like respect as a as a creative in the industry of as course a, yeah as a f- promoter as a festival thrower because you know when you look at big festivals they have teams and you know and then and like little like um sub teams with you know like a whole big tree but it, it was just us two and it still is obviously we have like our whole team now but it's like mm-hmm. it's 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 really you for sure got to a bunch of obstacles throughout the way, like hopping over, like you know, expectations and, and and assumptions, like on us and stuff like that. So, but it's for sure, it's for sure been it's been a journey for sure. Now, who's yeah. on the lineup for the first box fest? Like the first Damn, ever one. The first, the first one. box fest. That was Josiah. Yeah, Josiah headline it. Shout out Josiah. Yeah, yeah, yeah Josiah's Josiah's the, the go. Shout out Josiah. Yeah, he's the OG. He, he was supporting us before too. Box Boys was in yeah, motion. Yeah, Josiah was a day, yeah. Josiah's real? A day yeah. one. Just, the, just we weren't Josiah's day ones, but he's ours day ones. So was it just Josiah, or there other people? Other names. One and only. One and only. Like it was like a whole like subcategory. You know, like aesthetic, like the aesthetic rap sort of stuff. That's sort of who we do our first boxes with. But it wasn't until after that that's when like the whole plug and B scene started rising. Like the Cash Zombies, the Young Chris's, the Baby yeah. Santana's, D Savage. We had D Savage. D Savage. Autumn. That's when like the whole plug and B scene started rising. So I'm like, all right, like we got the blueprint from the first one. Let's you know, let's take the best like key components from that. Absolutely. And and and, uh, and can cook up box fest too. So for that one, that's that's one that for sure gave us like the best like momentum moving one forward. to two was a huge transition yeah because it was like two different mm-hmm. scenes two separate artists and like it's like d savage d savage like on the ground goat yeah absolutely and yeah. we got that was autumn's first show to ever like his first ever like official show so um like you, like when you brought up like how some people don't even like get hype for the last artist like they like the concert peaked when autumn hopped yeah and he wasn't the last one. Oh wow for real because it was okay. his first so it was like yeah it was yeah like, the first show there yeah it was his be first show like so, yeah. you can even see videos when um emma emma's interviewing fans out um, for real he's like who you, you heard in the see? back yeah, yeah and like 95 percent of the people said autumn like so autumn, like when autumn, emma autumn, had like autumn. longer hair too yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah red, red hair that was crazy yeah but no yeah but yeah it's like um that transition from one to two was for sure like a big change because like different scenes different artists like we just threw ourselves in the fire and we just we just, you know, we, we just cooked, you feel me? No, that's fire. I would like, you know, and do you guys ever think about, too, like, well, obviously, through Autumn, like, you guys are also breaking artists in that respect mm-hmm. as well, like, of that underground scene. Because, like, you know, um, like, the some of the, like, Rolling Loud supports a lot of underground artists. You guys support a lot, of, a lot of underground artists. We try to support a lot of underground artists. But other than that, like, they don't have, like, a lot of mainstream-ish Mm-hmm. outlets for them to go to yeah. to support which kind of like in a way you guys have become with these box fests because you know obviously it gets covered by everybody well you guys are here with me or like our generation covers it like it, you kind of have like become like in charge of breaking a lot of like really dope people in the underground scene too and 
you know, that are, you, you know, you hope some of them go mainstream. As yeah, well no, of too. course, yeah, but appreciate yeah. you. First and no, first we've first experienced and that nice. firsthand too. Like Lone, after the yeah. New York no, one, yeah. he took off and like, yeah, was, Lone, that was, Lone, was on his own a year ago, right? Lone's like last underground show. That was his first stop of his No Stylist tour. Like, yeah, that was his, you know, when he went on the No Stylist tour. Yeah, of course. After that, the first stop was Box New York. And after that, he's like, he just never looked back and he just, and it was last, it was last, it was last one, right? Exactly a year ago. Yo, did we, where's Calvin? Cal, did, did we interview Destroy Lonely around the last box fest? Yeah, I remember seeing the Destroy Lonely yeah. interview around that time. Yeah. Yeah, that right? Yeah. That day was so crazy because, like, mad people had canceled on us. It was actually supposed to be Lone and I think Ken Carson was supposed to come that day. Mm -hmm. But it was just Lone. And then Lone came, huh? Oh, it was supposed to be Homicide Gang. My bad, yeah. not Ken Carson. It was supposed to be Homicide Gang. And Lone, Homicide Gang didn't, didn't make it. But And then Lone showed up, like, Two hours late, but it was fine because we had no mm. artists. Was that day. So it we them together, like interviewed together? They were gonna be different separate, interviews, separate oh, okay. interviews. But it was cool because we have any artists that day, so it was like whatever. No, I remember and seeing then, that interview too. And then I think he said because he flew into New York and he didn't like they like lost his luggage, like the airport lost his luggage, uh. so he had to go get a whole outfit before he mm. came here. But it was like it was literally around that time, which I thought was so funny. Yeah. So that's actually kind of funny how that it's crazy also crazy how like our worlds collide. Yeah, how it coincides with bro. that too. But that's cool, like because like like you said, like now y'all could be like we were. Uh, Lone's last like underground show and then you know as you guys continue to get more mainstream like that changes yeah, like, no, that dynamic bro. also changes as well I think too. the key thing is growing with these artists you feel me because it's like you know when you throw these shows like you essentially like you're combining like you know your image your public image and truly like creating like a like you know for example like Autumn when Autumn's first show Box of Us 2 it's like Box of Us 5 there's like two completely different autumns the right. same way it's like yeah. it's two completely different box fests so it's like we essentially grow with these artists the same way they grow with us so it's like it's something really cool to see that you know artists look to us to you know break out that underground mold and right. you know me and Gio are always grateful that you know the artists you know they, they just like mess with us on that level it's like you know we want to be like we you know all the DMs we get like yo like you know let me hop on the next show but it's like you know right. we for sure, you for sure like you for sure gotta like pick the right artists because like you know mm -hmm. i feel like if you just let anyone on on a show it like derivates and it really degrades like the the, the integrity and like mm -hmm. it being like on you know like double like double xl type stuff you know they didn't pick anyone for double xl right they the best of the best so that's sort of how we approach it when we pick our lineups and stuff like that and like grow with these artists right now that's fine like i like how so this year it's homicide gang summers uh some special guests we can't mm -hmm. say yet uh sid shine osama son uh, Maddox and four or five. I like that, and I like yeah, that you have four or five on it. Shout out four or five. Yeah, yeah. He's Shout been going crazy five. right now. He's been yeah, going four crazy. Five. He's, he's, on, he's on his own tour right now. Yes, he's yeah, yeah. He's on his own tour. I think he just in Canada a couple weeks ago. Yeah. But like with crafting like this, uh, this lineup in particular, like how do y'all go about like picking? Because I'm sure there's plenty of artists out there who be like, how do how does Boxfest go about picking artists to mm -hmm. be on like the Boxfest? The, the Fest biggest lineup. advice we've had actually from Josiah was making our box fest as if you were listening to a playlist so if, if mm. i were to go through your playlist that would be like a festival that would come into yeah, you a know, live experience like genres like you know i know you just you know, off camera you're talking like are you trying to get into different genres so yeah. like with the show we try to stick to one genre at a time yeah until we get to like that rolling Lala or coachella where it's like different stages and different genres but like since we're limited to like six seven artists like we got to make the best sonically sounding six seven right. artists i was like you know if you get a destroy lonely like you wouldn't want to get like a like a wyland you feel me yeah. or like a detroit rapper Both you want to get like that underground just different no yeah amazing yeah, artists yeah, but like yeah. you want to like really stick to that that niche that they got where the headliner is at you feel me right and also like it's kind of tough because if you have like a seven person show like how long is everybody sets <sighs> like 10 to 15. That's I think crazy. the opening sets are like five to ten, and then like the middle way it's like ten to fifteen. 15. Yeah, middle way you, you got like that ten to fifteen, and the headline always get thirty, thirty to forty-five. Okay, they're, okay, so it's not like an hour set for the headline. No, 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 no. no. I mean, it would be if it was like opener, opener, headliner, but it's like seven artists. So it's like we, we got like at the end of the day, it's the experience for the fans. Yeah. You can't drain them out like that. Mm -hmm. Right. I was yeah. gonna say like, do y'all think about like now like expansion passes like doing multiple stages? Because you know I'm sure like people love these shows, but then also you know like you said, it's a short period of time that yeah. you know. Um, that they get to see these artists because some mm. of the sets are shorter than mm -hmm. what a typical homicide gang show would be or a summer show would be. Like, are you guys thinking about like that multiple stages uh, thing, or is that like kind of something that you guys are, are like already cooking up yet? No, yeah, for yeah. sure. That's you know, that, you know, it's always been a, a plan from day one to like expand to an outdoor festival. Me and Joe always talk about it because it's like mm -hmm. you know, doing these shows like one at a time. Like you're limited to so like little. Like you can only get five to seven artists. You can only 
give him 10 to 15 minutes. And they normally give like, us damn. a tight curfew. Like, venues tight give curfew, us tight curfews. Like, like that. 6 like, to 11. Like, really this one's 6 to 11 right now. Yeah, we're really, like, the show ends at 11. Our Doors show's open usually at seven, end yeah, at 12. Starts by 7 so like, to 11. That's like an hour mm-hmm. less we have a box fest that the fans get don't get to experience. So it's like, we really want to go outdoor. And when we do go, go outdoor, that's when we expand to different genres and, you know. Do like, more artists, yeah. Do yeah, more yeah, artists. Yeah, like, you know, I love R&B. Like, I like Brent Fires one and Frank Ocean, like my top two favorite artists. So I was like, you know, diving into that. And, you know, also, and still including, like, our roots. It was, like, the Homicide, the Lones, right, the right. Kens, the Yeats, so stuff like that. So it's really, like, going about it in a way where it's not too, like, out the outlet field where it's, like, all right, we're going to do Lone, and then, bam, country artist next show. But it's, like, <laughs> yeah. doing it, at, you know, in a slow, shit, yeah. slow, slow transition you know, then it's, like, sense. two stages, Saturday, Sunday, and then, you know, mm. A couple years later, then it's three stages and yeah. on some like rolling like expansion, quick. like slowly yeah. every yeah. like year yeah. on top of every you year. You know, yeah, bro, always trying to find like that that next like, hmm, how do we break this mold of underground rap that we're we you know we subcom- succumbed ourselves into? But mm-hmm. obviously, we are always grateful for you know what this scene has done for us. But we eventually do want to like break into like that mainstream multi genre. Yeah, ideally That's like a one to three year window. I was about to say, so like, when are we gonna get like the outdoor yeah. box? Yeah. One year on a good note, three years like our ideal time. One year, yeah, yeah like yeah. one year is like one year from now is it a good note for mm-hmm. outdoor? Right, because I was gonna say like, uh, is there also like that like worry about like continuing to just do like underground shows? Yeah, like, like, we don't want to. Like, you guys feel like a yo, we gotta do like this outdoor shit like right now, like you know what I'm saying? At times, yes, it's urgent for like, sure. Like damn, yeah. all right, we got box for six, then it's gonna be seven, then eight. So it's like damn, like at what point yeah, are we gonna just like flip that knob and just all right, we going we going outdoor? We get in, we get in Yachty, we get in Uzi, we're doing this huge, like these huge outdoor festivals. Like, so it's like really finding that time when to do it and how to do it. Mm, okay. So it's like, it's like in the plans, but it's not yeah, like, yeah, I know, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, it's cook, cooking up as we speak, but you know, I, I, I feel like that's something you cannot rush, right. especially being a, a, a company and, and a collective and a brand that does shows and, and, and does a bunch of other stuff. Right. Compared to like just a promoter who just books Lil Uzi and gets a venue. Like yeah. we ourselves as box boys and box fest, like it's a it's an entity of its own. Of course, so we gotta yeah. treat it as such. Just you know, because you know if we just we could easily just book a big artist like all right, like yeah, sell of course, tickets. But yeah. it's like no, like it's you know think of it like Astro World and like Kent Flognog, like those like you know even though that's Travis and Tyler, like that's like an experience of in its own, like that that's like its own entity. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Astro World and Travis, like two separate things, the same way Flognog and Tyler, same way Box Fest and Box Boys. So it's like yeah. finding that way where you can curate an experience and people treat Box Boys and Box Fest as its own entity as well as like. Uh, an experience itself. I don't know if I've if I've ever seen y'all do this, but have you ever taken like the action figures from like the the things and like made? Bro, real we're trying as toys, it's, it's physical toys, harder. yeah, physical it's toys. No, I know because like likenesses and yeah, shit like that. Of that course. Oh, yeah, too. But it's like actually like the mold was getting to like where we're gonna like what manufacturer is gonna get uh, the figures this that, but and there's like the likenesses like when yeah. we or we, like at the very least like maybe not make like little toys for people to buy, but like having them like on stage. We do have um, little, little cards, little Pokemon cards. Of, like, oh, you got the cards. Okay. We got the cards. We don't have I usually do. Damn, no, yeah, we have like the uh, parody Pokemon cards of the artists or like collectibles type Exactly stuff. the way those But the goal is to yeah. do like some, some bare brick some bare brick stuff where it's like you know alone alone like figure On stage or, yeah, or like somewhere like that. or like lined up somewhere yeah, Where, where like the headliner is or you know whether it's summer is sit shine four or five like it's like their figures are on the stage as they perform. Yeah. That'd be tight, yeah. Because, yeah. like, I feel like you guys already have, like, a good, like, thing with, like, the merch with yeah, the, the box boys. Yeah, there. But, like, it's just, like, now it's, like... If How you do we take, expand on that? Yeah, if you expand, like, some of this shit, like, yeah. that shit would be... In my opinion, like, that would mm-hmm. be... That would go fucking crazy to me. No, 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 yeah. It's it's it's, it's crazy. Like, I, the thing I really enjoy about doing this is, like, you know, it's not, oh, like, a one-trick pony. Like, we could do... Like, we've done artists' album release parties. We've done meet and greets. Obviously, we got Box Fest. We've done like half, you know, half, half people, right? Yeah. Half people. We did their four year store anniversary. Fire. And we got like Highway Midwest to pop out in Chicago. Packed out their store we with did, like 300 uh, people. We did in Block there. 40's album release party in Atlanta not too long ago. And that like, one was cool because he wasn't there. But he he we wasn't still there. turned he's, it out. He's, he's still, he's still in out. jail, but the fact that, you know, he. So y'all did it with him in jail? Him yeah, in jail. his mom like, was walk- bro, we, actually walking around with him on FaceTime. No way. In jail, yeah. like in the we, jail cell, and she, all, you see him just smiling from the phone. It's so funny, <laughs> That's bro. so funny. But, yeah, like through jail, like he's in like on like the jail yeah, phone. his real supporters at, were there, like, man. It was a good time. It was crazy. It was crazy. So it was like, it's not just boxes. It's like, it's like we're just like, it's events. It's, it's an experience where we're really providing for these, you know, supporters. Right. That, you know, that mess with us and the artists we work with. And like my brother said, like we're doing this right, and every move has to be like very selective. So like every artist, like, messing with us like it's it's for a reason too it's not just for a bag like they see that what we do for their culture yeah facts. like we be doing this without money too as well so everything we're doing now it's like it's cool to see all these artists that we love involved with us as much mm. as we want to be involved with them 
And you got and so you guys are partnering with Live Nation on this one. Correct. Just for this one, yeah. This is like a one-off show. It's sort of like a little, little test run. To see how it goes. Yeah. See how it goes. Mm-hmm. But the past five ones have all been independent, straight out of me and Gio's pockets. And like, yeah, from the first one all the way till five. But the sixth one, um, we, we you know, we feel like, you know, just, you know, you don't know till you know. You feel me? So yeah. it's like, it's something, you know, you got to test the water, see how we're feeling it. And if it works, then you and never know. If it works, it works. Yeah, if it exactly. doesn't, it doesn't. Like, I, the thing is, like, I, you know, it, it, the fact that it happened is like, it's incredible, like yeah. even in itself, yeah. that you guys uh-huh. were able to finally get the partnership yeah. with them. Yeah, because like even that. then, there's for sure limitations partnering up with the big companies such as Live Nation or AEG, like you know, because it's like you really gotta like go by their their like the way they go about it, because yeah. like, obviously they're doing the show with you, so like you gotta like do this this this, and compared to how one was just me and him, like we we could do whatever we want, like it's us. Full control. Yeah, yeah right. full control. Right. But you know, you definitely just gotta test it out. Like you don't know what works until you try it. So you know, this is like our first time trying it, partnering up, and seeing how it works. Fire. So if you want to get last minute tickets, where can they get last minute tickets at? Tickets in our bio this Saturday, man. Or That's search like up Boxes NYC now. four days yes, from sir. now. Sir, Boxes NYC. Online. Is, all is, uh, is M gonna be there this weekend? Emma, uh, no, he's actually going to Camp Flog now. Oh, he's going to Camp Flog. We tried okay, convincing okay. him all fast yeah, month, like, all month. Yeah, we talking like, like, bro, I'm going to try. I'm like, ah, oh, nah. But next one for yeah. sure. Next one for sure. He's, he's been at almost every box fest. I was about to say, I've seen him at all of them. No, yeah, like, this is the only one he hasn't been to, yeah. Damn, man. He's well, look, man, I wish y'all the best this weekend. Um, if y'all want to get tickets still, make sure y'all go hit the links in their bios. Go check that out. Um, before we get up out of here, anything else that the people got to be on the lookout for from you boys from the festival? Anything else you want to let them know? Yes, Where they can man. follow you right now? The time to do it. Y'all cameras are both right here. We got an album coming out next year. Oh, we got Hopefully. a project, a whole project, project. A project. A little, like mixtape compilation with the, with the artists we mess with. Hopefully, spring that into existence. And then uh, bigger shows, more tours, and just more events, just better experiences, man. Yeah, there you go. that's pretty. That's yeah. Yeah. Everything. Where can they that's follow you at too? Box, Box boys, G. boys, Box boys Box boy here. Box boy, Box Gio. boy Gio right here. Fire, man. Well, make sure y'all go check them out. Uh, go get tickets to the show. Um, project on the way. More box fests on the way. LA is going to be what? In the summertime? Next summer. Next summer. Yeah, summer. 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 yeah definitely. So in the summertime for next... Uh, Two years. Huh? Two years. Summer and fall. Summer and fall. Okay, boom. So LA next summer. New York City going down this weekend. And then again, next fall. So make sure you get your tickets for this weekend in their bio. There's still some left. Um, make sure you go follow them. Make sure you go show them some love. Go show them support. Love is free. Support is free. But child renew that till next time. Box Boys on the radar. We out. Appreciate you, Gabe. Love. Appreciate Appreciate you, you, gang. Bow. That was a good one.